Okay, so this is an interview of my friend Gwen um, for History 240 Honors um, Digital Oral History Project. And we can start off with where are you from? I am from Hong Kong. Okay. <laughs> and um, how old were you when you immigrated here? Um, I was. 11, I think almost 12 that year. Yeah, 11. Okay, and why did you come to America? My parents decided to immigrate to America because my grandparents came here and they wanted to reunite with each other and there was a better education system, I feel like, in America. In America. Okay, all of them. So you only came with your parents, or did you come with the family? Um, I came with my whole immediate family, my dad, my mom, and my sister. Okay. And what was, the tra what was it like to transition from your past country to your new one? Um, weather is hotter over there. <laughs> uh, I kind of lost all my elementary school friends, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, so what school did you go to here? Um, for when I first got here, I went to APGME. I was in like the ESL program, but I got up to speed pretty quick because I took English in Hong Kong while I was at Hong Kong. Okay, awesome. <laughs> All right, and were there any hardships that, uh, hardships that you had to face? Um, nothing too that like discrimination. There wasn't much of that because my school pretty much had all, but like, majority. Chinese or Asian ethnic background, so everyone was good in terms of that. Okay, so did you like um, the Americas more than Hong Kong? Uh, I, I, I would say yes, but I miss Hong Kong because of all the food, and I have a lot of my family members there still. My whole dad's side. No more fresh food. No <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah. So is it a lot different from when you were in Hong Kong and living in San Francisco? Um, not, not too much of a difference. It's you're talking about just friendship, but I guess everyone here is more polite. Hong Kong, everyone's gonna cut you out if you <laughs> wrong them. <laughs> okay. okay. Um. Okay. So, did you have any um, changes to your religious practices, or did you change? Um. Or did you stick with your religion from when you were in Hong Kong till now? Uh, honestly, I don't think I had a, an actual religion that I believed in. Um, occasionally, my family like went to temples to pray, but I don't think we were doing it for religious purposes, but more to pray for our health and education, stuff like that. Okay, great. And was it hard to get any jobs, or did you have to do anything um, in particular just to get a certain job? Um, not really, because actually learning English wasn't hard, so being multilingual made it easier getting a job. So I could cater to the Chinese speakers and the English speakers. Okay. And were you more comfortable with the Chinese speakers or like the English speakers? Um, I think white people and them, they're, they're easier, they're, they're nice. 
Tiny people, they blind as hell. They stay blind. They're blind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. okay, well, thank you for your time. <laughs>